Hey, it's a beautiful day outside in Tupelo today, and me and Teresa's trying to enjoy it. Had some uh, questions come in and been asked several times about some of the things that uh, that Elvis had given us. We we show some on the video. So today, I'm going to show you this uh, this lamp. This is one of two lamps that Elvis, when uh, he took mom and daddy out shopping to find furniture and, and to decorate our trailer at Graceland, and these. Well, this is one of the two that he bought, and uh, I have them and thought thought I'd share those with you. Also today we got uh, we got a lot, and that's one thing I want to say. Appreciate all the questions coming in, and we're trying to get around to answering all we can. So I'm gonna let Teresa start off today with the first question. First, before I do questions, so so nobody's scared. The, the snake in the bush behind you. Is a decoy to scare birds out of my blueberry bush. Yeah, that's our blueberry <laughs> so bush. So it's not real. <laughs> okay, so question number one is from L. Do you live in the same area where Elvis was born? L, we do. We uh, we live in a little town called Saltillo, which is connected to Tupelo. It's in the same county, Lee County, and uh, we're we're probably about uh, maybe 12, 15 minutes from the birthplace. Okay, Road Glider. What relation was Gene Smith to your daddy, Billy? Road Glider, we, we've answered this a, a couple times, and, but I know I, we, we do get that question that, that they thought Gene and, and my daddy were brothers. Gene Smith and my daddy were first cousins. Uh, my, my, my daddy's only brother was named Bobby Smith. Uh, D Dollar, did Billy have a birthday coming up? That's a good question. Uh, uh, he did. Uh, Daddy's birthday is April 6th, uh, and I know we, we've had several questions on that and comments about uh, our family's birthdays, and it just happened that way, but we've got the most of our birthdays are in March and, and right at the 1st of April. There's uh, My nephew Dakota's is on the 20th of March. Mine's the 24th of March. Mama's is the 29th of March, and Daddy and our oldest granddaughters is on April 6th. Um, is your dad always funny and pleasant? And what was he like when you were growing up? Oh man, we could <laughs> we could probably uh, mm, I, I don't have enough time in probably ten years, but I'll I'll just answer some of the some of the best parts of it. Uh, Daddy was is just like he is now and, and has always been. He, he he's crazy, funny. Uh, growing up, he. Uh, he was somewhat like, I don't want to say normal dad, because I don't know if he's normal, but uh, he, he he always would pull pranks on, on me and Joey. Uh, he was always there with us, of course, teaching us, and I mean, he did funny things. Dad was, mama, you could, uh, you could somewhat get by with her or make, you know, make her believe things. Daddy, you never could. I, I'll, I'll tell you a little short story one time. Uh, me and uh, Rory Miller, Vernon's girlfriend, Sandy, or fiance Sandy Miller's son. You've heard me talk about him in other videos. Uh, we was going out one night and, and, and was in my car. Uh, we were probably around 16, 17 years old. And uh, we took out and decided we'd, uh, we'd go get us a little bit of beer. Of course, we wasn't enough to buy it. Of course, like everything else, we had, had a little store and we uh, we loaded up on ice chest in the back seat and mama ha happened to be out and she seen my vehicle at the store and she called daddy and daddy said well wait a minute i'll be there mama said i got a feeling something's up so anyway we're headed out we're headed out way out in the country and i noticed headlights that just kept following and i'm making turns turns anyway we get on our main road and i know i said oh man i said that's that's daddy Roy, we're freaking out and stuff. And anyway, we go along. Well, we see this kind of vacant-looking place, and we pull up in the driveway. Knew nobody's home. Roy jumps out. He knocks on the door, like you know, like we're trying to make contact. Daddy gets out. Of course, he's just you know, kind of saying, "What y'all done?" So uh, we headed down to some girls' party, and uh, yeah, he says, uh, "What y'all got in the ice chest?" I said, "Ah, oh, we got all kind of cold, cold drinks and all that." And he said, uh, Really? Well, just let me take a look. I said, no, we got beer. Well, he said, well, you can take your little car and y'all can come on back to the house. So we drive back to the house and uh, long story short, he makes us stand up and pour every one of them down the sink. Uh, 
that was just one of the things that that he did. I, Daddy, you never could pull by, but like I said, he uh, when we were little and stuff, he would like uh, uh, hide and we couldn't find him at night. Like at night, we'd get up and we, of course, we always had little parties. Uh, we called our little snack parties. That's where me and Joey always got up in in Mom and Daddy's big bed, and we all would sit and we'd watch movies late at night, horror shows, and, and have snacks. And well, Daddy would come up missing, and, and we'd go look for him. And he, I know one time he had hooked his legs up in our attic and he come out of the attic like a bat with his eyelids turned up scared the shit out of us but i yeah daddy was just i mean like i said i can go on and on and i probably will but uh to us he's the greatest daddy ever did i say who that question was from uh, i'm not will sure you hand me i'm sorry uh, give me one minute me just out. yeah i'm sorry we want to make sure yeah i want to make sure oh. they uh that was from joan yeah Okay, thank you. Uh, another thing, real quick, though, I'll tell you another little cute story. This is uh, mom and daddy, too, the, kind of the crazy things that we did. Uh, whenever we'd go out and stuff, I'd always come in and to let mom and daddy know I was home on my curfew, I'd go to their door and I'd just kind of knock on it. And then I had a bad habit of, of mooning them. <laughs> well, mama had an English bulldog named Sarge. Uh, and I've done this over and over. So one night I come in and, and uh, I go to the door and I knock. And of course I did my little flash and mama says, sick him, Sarge. Uh, I'm gonna try to put it as nice as I can. This dog bit me right in the, uh, right in the booty. And uh, let needs to say it wasn't pleasant, but. I bet your mom and daddy thought it was funny though. Oh yeah, they like, that's what I'm saying. We just, our whole life we've always did things just crazy one another like i've said it before it was almost like growing up with with a big brother or big sister rather than a mom and dad of course with daddy i mean even though it would have been like a big brother he was still little <laughs> yeah <laughs> that one's at you daddy but uh we appreciate all the questions we really do and uh if you hadn't subscribed subscribe and and please if you hadn't check out our our uh, blog channel it's uh on facebook yeah it's on facebook uh -huh. it's called we always live elvis colon mmk we've got a lot of stuff going on there so hey y'all just keep up with us we got a whole lot more coming at you what you were going to say something about the doctor oh yes uh, I, I, i'm sorry had that question come in it totally slipped my mind uh, and, and thought maybe a lot of you like to know it uh somebody had seen me in and i'm sorry i, I I didn't write or remember the name, but hey, we'll shout out at you later. Was Daddy born in Tupelo also? And the answer to that is he was, and actually a lot of people may not know it, but the same doctor that delivered Elvis delivered Daddy. His name was Dr. Hunt. So I hope that answers your question. Like I say, hey, we appreciate each and every one of you. We're having a blast. We're looking forward to August coming up, uh, maybe possibly even June in Tupelo. Uh, at their at their Elvis Fest. So hey, looking forward to seeing each and every one of you. Keep them coming and remember, we always live Elvis.